Magandang hapon, MPC. Kasama na natin si Presidential Spokesperson and Chief Presidential Legal Counsel, Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon, MPC. First, I'd like to express the palace condolences to the family of Secretary Ramon Lopez for the passing of his mother, Aurora Lopez. Also, <clears throat> Mr. Ramon Ang would like to request people to stop releasing false news about his son. <clears throat> about his son being or having been passed away, still alive. I'm ready. Question Ace. Microphone, please. Secretary, uh, the President uh, removed the PNP's procurement powers because of the <clears throat> supposed plan to purchase an overpriced traffic radar. Yes. Do you have any other details about this? He's angry about it when he discovered it. He could not <clears throat> believe that a radar would cost that much. In Davao CV, it cost them only 10,000 pesos. So is it a directive to abolish all procurement units of the police? Because he said uh, he's going to task Secretary Año to do the procurement for the police. So is he ordering the PNP to abolish all procurement units? I don't know about that. That's the only order I heard him say. I don't know with the rest. But as far as the press is concerned, I think it's Secretary Año would be in charge of that. Did he order an investigation on the supposed plan to buy overpriced radars? I suppose it goes without saying. When there is an anomaly, the investigation should be forthcoming. Okay. Thank you, Sec. Questions, MPC? Uh, Francis, belated happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday to you. Sir, good afternoon. Uh, President Duterte will be visiting Batangas City later. 5 p.m. Yeah. Sir, anong may First, we will send off the Marines. Anong expected natin sa visit ni Pangulo, sir? Hmm? Mamaya, anong mga expect natin sa pagbisita ni Pangulo, sir? Well, first, we will have a briefing <clears throat> from the various agencies <clears throat> who are presently undertaking measures to help the victims as well as make some <clears throat> undertakings that would be helpful to them. He wants to see for himself the devastation wrought by the eruption. And from there, he would be, I suppose, making orders to respond to whatever problems he will see there. Uh, Makakasa ho ba na magbibigay po si Pangulo ng any financial assistance sa mga victims? Whatever. I, I don't know about that part. <clears throat> Questions? MPC? Tina. Sir? Noong issue po ng Middle uh, Middle East uh, crisis, uh, the president uh, tried to request from Congress extra power or authority for contingency funds. And there was a response that, that merong 16 billion in under the present 2020 budget. With, the, uh, with that taal, eruption of Taal Volcano, is there a need for additional funds or mag-request ang Pangulo ng extra standby or mm. standby authority for with respect to the Middle East since there has been a de-escalation of the conflict there I suppose that's the reason why the president did not pursue with his request or call Congress to special session <clears throat> now vis-a-vis -vis the present eruption I, I understand we have enough funds for that no need for a special or standby authority none that I know Questions? MPC? <coughs> Are you going there, by the way? Hmm? 
Nobody? <laughs> Nobody will go there? Ah, si Joseph na, ano na? May other teams daw po, Secretary. Questions? Eh, kayo ang hinahanap ni Presidente, yung mga mukha nyo eh. Oh, Ace. So, so, Secretary, the President will be going to Port Area to send perfume? Yes, sa, sa South Harbor. Okay, can you give us details about that? Uh, ilan yung isi-send off and ano yung in well, the, I understand the ship will be going there. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not very clear on whether there are troops there. What I know is one frigate has already been sent to secure the ship that has already been docked there in understand, Qatar or near Qatar. So why is the government pursuing this even if yung nag-de-escalate nag na yung situation sa Middle East, yung sa US, Iran? So, because we don't know exactly whether it will again escalate or de-escalate. So to be certain that our people there are safe and secure, we will be sending this ship. Okay, salamat po, sir. May katanungan pa, MPC? Wala na kayong tanong? Okay na, Tina? Ay, naubos sa na kanina eh. Sir, may... <laughs> Tinapanood ko kayo kanina eh. Sir, meron po ba kayo i-address sa mga evacu evacuees ngayon na meron kasi silang cloud of mga uncertainty kung kailan makakabalik sa bahay, may danger sa Taal Volcano Eruption. Anong assurance ng gobyerno na hmm. matutulungan pa naman sila? Eh, ang panawagan ko po sa lahat ng mga nanunod ngayon dyan sa apektadong lugar. Makinig po kayo palagi doon sa mga anunsyo, pahayag na nanggagaling sa iba't ibang ayansya ng gobyerno at ng pamalan. Kaugnay yan sa inyong mga lugar. Pakinggan niyo pong maigi sapagkat yung mga pahayag na yon ay ang layunin nun ay upang ipaalam sa inyo ang pangkasulukuyang sitwasyon at kung paano kayo ma ilalayo sa panganib yung pong mga aral na ibinibigay sa inyo kagaya ng pagtatakip ng inyong mga ilong kahit na walang mas meron naman pwedeng yung panyo pwedeng yung basahin lagay sa ilong tsaka yung pong mga sinasabing nasa lugar na mapanganib wag na muna po kayong bumalik sapagkat hindi pa tayo nakakasiguro kung safe na yung lugar na yun. Henry. Si Tina muna. Tina. Oh, sige, Henry. So, anong uh, doctor's advice kay Presidente? Uh, kasi kahapon may binabanggit siya na parang meron niya atang paalala sa kanyang doktor. Uh, to be specific, uh, magsusuot pa siya ng facial mask mamaya? Ay, siguro. Kaya ito, kung gusto ko magsuot. Mm -hmm. eh, para, sa, para safe tayo kung meron pang mga asshole. Pero wala akong alam doon sa sinabi kong advice ng doktor. Hindi, hindi namin napag-usapan ang gagabi. Mm -hmm. uh, kung uh, kailangan niya pang mag uh, suot ng face mask. But I suppose he kung... should. I mean, everyone should wear that. Especially uh -huh. in Batangas, it's very near. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, wala pala akong dalabas. Mm -hmm. Marami naman, marami naman dang butika eh. <laughs> Ka, nung isang gabi yun. <laughs> Pero ngayon hindi na. Uh, so yung kalusukan ng presidente ngayon ay uh, walang dapat ipaglala? Kung, uh, ah, wala. Palagay ko naman eh. Pupunta kagabi, siya, kahit pumunta siya ron. Kagabi, kagabi eh. Anong oras ba kami umalis doon sa wake? Gabi na rin. Alas 12 na yata. Wake na ako na. Mm -hmm. ang mother ni Mon Lopez. So malakas ang katawan para sa lubungin yung mga anumang oh, 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 naman. toxic doon sa lugar. Basta nakatulog siya ng buong walong oras. Okay na okay. Hmm. Thank you po. Salamat. Okay. Questions? Wala na? Okay na tayo? Okay. Wala nang tanong, Secretary. All right. Pareho. Thank you. Thank you, MPC. See you in Batangas. Back to our main studio sa People's Television Network.